Oh man, Kevin Federline just messed up so big that I've stopped my vacation to record this. Up, it's me, Steph, the alter nerd, your nerdy alternative. And guess who I am with? Yes, Andy has just taken a break from his honeymoon for this, you guys. Yes, it's all kicked off over the weekend. Andy, take it away. Look, I needed to rant on this. I saw this because every I'm still checking the news from time to time, even though I'm on a break. I can't resist checking the news. And I, you know how I love Britney. And when I saw the meth story come in, it made me so furious. And then to see it get retracted by KFED, guys, that means something big happened, is what my suspicion is. So for those of you who don't know what happened, let's, I guess, summarize it for him, Steph. Yes. There was uh, previously Kevin Federline had spoken to this Daphne awful person, this journalist who she, they let her in the home to watch the kids and do all this for like 13 days or some nonsense, all while saying they want the privacy and Britney's caused so much trouble in the media for them. Meanwhile, they bring in this parasite into their house who's now going off and doing and spreading it out with more and more garbage, including this, this uh, uh, bullshit that she's on meth. And so when I saw that, I was like, oh my God, this is brutal. And I messaged around everybody I knew and I messaged Christopher Melcher. I'm like, this is defamatory, no? And she's, he's like, oh, Hallie, if this isn't true, they are in deep doo-doo. And so this happened. And then if we can go to KFED, so I guess go to Britney's, Go to Britney's post first. Do you have them? I have that one in yeah, front of me too. Yeah, Brittany here's Britney's post here. She said, the fact that people are claiming things that are not true is so sad. This may not even be them saying such things because it doesn't make any sense to me for them to be saying that. With Preston, Preston saying she needs to listen to us before it's too late. Do you remember every visit you came to my home? You went to your room and locked the door? I never saw you guys. Jaden played the piano. He made some music together. But the day I told him I wanted to see you guys more, I never saw you again. It makes me sad because I tried so hard to make things nice for you, and it was my back, uh, and uh, and it was never good enough. So you guys go behind my back and talk about me. It breaks my heart, and the news is so low. I've always felt like the news bullies me. It's sad because everyone sits back as if it's okay to make up lies to that extent. Why am I told I have to sit back and rise above when all they do is go so low? Hopefully, it's just the news being hateful, and Kevin nor Preston said any of these things. Either way, I will be fine working it out to working out to throb. Um, but man, there's so much to unpack there, Steph. It's just so sad that she's getting the advice from people to just, you know, let it be, take the high road, don't say anything. But now that her own kids are being used, they're being used as pawns against her. So her, the, you know, KFED can continue to use her as a meal ticket and her whole family can do it. It is horrifying. And so anyway, things got so bad that this, this threat of Britney's on meth headline that you had up there, that KFED and his lawyer, the short Kaplan, he loves being called short because he's so short, Steph. It's like it's like humorously <laughs> short. Like he should be like one of the the hobbits or something, looking for the ring and uh, with Frodo, he's that short, guys. Yeah, you're a despicable human being, in my opinion. In my opinion, Jersey, whatever. I, I, you are just despicable that you're letting this man and you take so much money from this woman and put her through so much hell. I I, it's, I can't think of a more evil job than what the KFED's lawyer. Can you imagine a worse job, Steph? Sure, you got all this money, but man, what a scumbag. Anyway, he KFED had to release this, Steph. It saddens our family that Daphne Barak and uh, Herbal Ganasti have this outfitting Ganasti. You didn't, didn't the red flag already in her name. <laughs> have decided to fabricate lies and publish the heartache our family has endured along with the trauma of our minor children in the Daily Mail and The Sun. We did allow Daphne and Bill into our home because we trusted them, but that trust was lost and we severed ties back in March for many reasons we chose um, to not go in there. It is very distressing that she continues to harass our family when we have repeatedly asked her to leave us alone. As we previously published, our family did speak with Ms. Barak and Ms. Ganasti a few times, and this was done in a respectful way with love and compassion. Yeah, right. <coughs> Bullshit. Uh, for Brittany and the Spears family. The lies and attempts to exploit minors as clickbait is another repulsive example of where, unfortunately, certain journalism today. Dude, KFED, are you kidding me, KFED? You brought her into your house? You brought the roach into the house and let her stay there for 13 days? 
Like, Steph, I can't even begin to explain why she thought, why they thought that was ever okay. And while they were with this press, they're like, oh, Brittany always ruins the things. The press is so hard to us. You literally let them into your life. And now clearly, here's where things get interesting, Steph. So anyway, I'm mad. I wanted to rant. I needed a few minutes just to rant, and I'm going to go back on my honeymoon. But Steph, where things get interesting, this is defamatory. And I did talk to Christopher Melcher. He was unable to come here. But what's going to be interesting now and why this is actually I'm, I'm getting intrigued and I'm kind of glad it happened. Britney's lawyer has now gone over like he's getting into this as he should. Oh, and he's yeah. made a claim now. What's going to happen, Steph, is I talked to Christopher. They got to figure out, well, who said it? Do you have proof that one of the kids or K-Fed said this? Now, if the kids said it, it might be more complicated. But if K-Fed's out there putting this nonsense to reporters, uh, well, then, yes, Britney may be able to sue him for defamation. That is the sweet reveal here and the revelation. Because why else would he have put out such a clear apology? I've never seen that man walk something back that fast and realize, oh, shit. And what's going to be interesting is not only is he now in legal jeopardy, him and his short lawyer, uh, now they're not, do they, oh, the meal ticket might be coming if they're suing him. Um, and they've been put, they've been the ones who've been putting out all this nasty gossip about her for years. So now they are on the hook to potentially have a defamatory claim against them. And Steph, here's my, my Andy Domus prediction. This Daphne girl is a vulture. She's a cockroach. She was all smiling, all, all happy to KFED and the kids, but just you wait until she does the turn and starts reporting negatively on them. Cause you know, that's coming next. So KFED and the kids are going to start getting their own nasty headlines about them. And then KFED's going to be like, oh, but meanwhile, the stuff they're saying about Britney was fine. But when it goes the other way, they're going to really be, be angry and we'll see what happens. But this is a juicy, fascinating and depressing story to see what the press is doing right now. And it makes me so sad for Queen Britney. So I want to send all the love and I want to make sure people knew what was going on. Because I've seen some people jumping on that meth story. And anybody who did and tried to, to, to exploit her and say nasty on her, shame on you. Shame on you. Leave Britney alone. Enough is enough. I'm really glad that Rosengart and even KFED's team quickly put the kibosh on it. But Steph, now to get your quick thoughts before we wrap this up, because I got to get back to my uh, honeymoon. I mean, the, are you surprised to see KFED so quickly walk it back and apologize do you sense the sweating that he must be going through absolutely so um we're showing this article again and you made a good point in terms of they've got to prove who said it well at the moment based on the daily mail article um that this documentary maker has spoken to she's quoting kevin federline as saying this <laughs> saying i fear quote i fear She's on, we call it Met here. Um, I've been praying someone would make it public and that she wakes up. And then also then does a parallel to Amy Winehouse basically saying, every time the telephone rings, I fear that there'll be devastating news. I don't want the boys to wake up one morning and find their mother has essentially unalived themselves. So off the back of those comments that this documentary maker is quoting K-Fed to have said, um, then, yeah, I think things definitely have changed at this point because my thoughts are that Rosengart then says, look, this is false, this is defamatory, this is reckless. You then have Britney Spears turning around and saying, why am I told I have to sit back and rise above it? I think she's obviously spoken to Matthew Rosengart and I think they are really sick and tired of K-Fed and that family. I think she's going to go for it. I think she's going to sue the absolute pants off of K-Fed and more, which is why then we have this mea culpa from K-Fed completely backtracking and being like, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, and still please pay me the child support and pay me money up until they're now 23 because we're moving to Hawaii. Uh, yeah. yeah. Quite a shorty lawyer. I'm sure his shorty lawyer probably already tried to get up there too. Like, we got to respond to this when this isn't good. Uh, they weren't thinking. They took a Kevin Federline has only ever cared about the money, and what's the 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 saddest thing about all of this? Even I mean, I know Brittany's been through so much with her family, you know, turning on her. The saddest thing is to see the way that they got they soured her kid, her own kids against her. It is it is awful because look, we've always said it. Brittany's going through trauma, no doubt. Is Brittany, you know, going through her own issues? Could she have her issues? Absolutely, freaking Lily, who wouldn't? 
going through all the things that she went through. So it's just so disgusting to see them playing like, oh, she's a danger to herself. Dude, you guys were the danger. You put her in the danger zone. And so it's so disheartening that they have now seemingly given their, her own kids to play that narrative and gaslight them so far that, you know, they don't understand that Cave, their daddy isn't paying for anything. It's all Britney. And at some point, I hope they wake it up. It sounds like Preston, the one who was playing piano, I guess instead of Jaden, one of them seems to be a little bit more nicer, more private. And I hope as they mature and more people are kind to them, at least, because I know they're kids. we got to be careful. They are kids. But KFED is despicable for the way he took those kids and raised them as the, tra the trailer trash that they are. Just because they live in fancy buildings paid by Britney doesn't mean they aren't still trailer trash. And KFED and his bride are trailer trash douchebags who I uh, know Britney's, you know, they're, they're oh, yeah, we got all this money. It, it, it is sickening. And that lawyer, Shorty Kaplan, scumbag. Sc I just, despicable what they're putting this woman through. So anyway, I wanted to report. Thank you for that update. We'll see what happens. Rosengart and Britney seem to be not wanting to do too much, but this is so far. Maybe the KFED apology will be enough. But I, I suspect, guys, this is the beginning of this story. That Daphne girl is not going away. And correct me if I'm wrong, Steph, they did not retract or remove the meth story, correct? No, it's still up. So that's on KFED, and KFED's going to have to hold some responsibility for that. And let's wait to see what else Daphne reveals, because I saw something else, right? There's even more coming. This is only the beginning of all the stuff that KFED yeah. gave her, because she they let her in the house for 13 days to get as much juicy crap as possible. And I'm sure she paid her. She paid uh, KFED. So despicable, disgusting, and deplorable KFED is the worst. Well, uh, with that being said, I couldn't echo that any further, to be fair, mate. Uh, if you like this video and you want more, and believe me, of course there's going to be more, then make sure you subscribe to Popcorn Planet, turn that notification bell to all, like this video if you think KFED is a scumbag, and comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories and whatever's, and go one step further and join today. Become a Popcorn Planet here for as little as $5.99 a month, and get exclusive content from the man himself, Andy Signor. And in fact, tomorrow, during the live portion of the members only, I'm going to give you a clip to play to surprise everybody where I'm at today. I'm, I didn't show you. Oh, my gosh, guys. And I'll try to uh, do some, I'm going to do some members only content for this amazing place I'm in, round two of our honeymoon trip. Oh, guys, get ready. And thanks, everybody who's been watching and supporting Steph. Thank you, Steph. And uh, keep rocking, everybody. Go Planet! Woo! Go Planet! And here are some videos that you may be interested in. Clickety-clickety-on, so clickety-click.